Are you ready for some raunchy teen series? Welcome back guys, my name is Mayumi and you're watching the second part of our Netflix recommendations. We all know we have different series in mind depending on the mood and the vibe that we're going for for that season. Now these are my go-to light, fun, and definitely addicting series whenever I want to feel young and youthful. As you may have noticed from the first part of my Netflix recommendations, I'm not really into American series and this is no different. So my recommendations are usually from European countries or foreign series. The topics on this series might appear heavy and intense, but the storytelling is guaranteed light and easy to digest. So the first one on my list is Elite. It currently has three seasons and it's 7.6 on IMDb. It is about extremely hot teens in an elite school in Spain. As they go through controversial topics like homosexuality. Nos hacemos una. Aquí con Guzmán. Three sums, three sums, three sums, sums. Islam, class inequality, and many more, all wrapped under a murder investigation. It is definitely an addicting thriller. Next one, we have Baby, an Italian series with 6.8 rating and two seasons. It is about a scandalous true story in Italy involving two high school teenagers that were involved in underage prostitution in order for them to buy luxurious things. It features the Italian night scene, drugs, and how they live a double life as wealthy schoolgirls with family issues and as prostitutes at night. For our next series, it started in 2007 and ended in 2013 with 7 seasons. It is rated 8.2 on IMDb and it's Skins. It is famous for producing a lot of your favorite faces, even in Hollywood. It was funny and relatable, and they were able to discuss a lot of pressing issues about love, relationships, and friendship, and they were able to feature a lot of controversial topics as well, such as teenage pregnancy, eating and personality disorders, and substance abuse. You gonna eat that? Oh, totally. I'm better now. I'm totally better. Next, we have Sex Education with 8.3 rating and two seasons. Again, it's another British film. The main character, Otis, is socially awkward, son of a sex therapist. So Aura and I try to, you know, have sex. No, but we try to do more than kissing and she... Wiped off. And I couldn't... Get hard. So now I'm wondering whether maybe I've masturbated so much that my penis has run out of erections. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> it's not funny. It is about high school students trying to get money off of sex education or sex advice. She, uh, she touched my eyebrows. Now I have an erection. <laughs> you said you would love. You might already notice a trend of me loving foreign and British films. Now the next one is In Betweeners. Though the series was shown in 2008, it is definitely not outdated. It only has two seasons and one movie, and it is rated 8.4. Oh, you would if you could, though. What? Suck yourself off. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but I bet you've tried it. We all have. Oh, I managed to lick the tip once, but it took a lot of stretching, twice a day for a couple of weeks. Well, thanks for sharing, Neil. It is about four socially awkward high school friends as they navigate through teenage years. Nah, look, it was properly filthy. I shouldn't tell. Try us. All right. Well, when I fingered her, she shit down my arm. Should we go and look where we're sleeping then? Yeah. And it will transport you into the minds of young teenagers. We all know what they're thinking about. 
Since we're already on a roll about British series, next one is Crazy Head with 7.3 rating and it only has one season. I'm actually surprised that they didn't have season 2 because I really enjoyed this series. People like us have been hunting them down and shoving wooden poles up their asses. Big pole. Right up the arse. It is about two girls with comedic personalities brought about by the adventure of fighting demons. One of the newer ones we have End of the F***ing World which has 8.1 rating and to my surprise has two seasons. Uh, I will have a banana split with extra cherries, mm -hmm. some blueberry pancakes, mm -hmm. and a hot chocolate with cream. <laughs> You're hungry. <laughs> and an extra fucking spoon. It is about two runaways with lots of family issues and drama, one being a self-proclaimed psychopath. It is full of angst. It might appear dry and slow initially, but it will intensify once the character develops. Now moving on to my American series, the next one is Trinkets with 7.1 rating on IMDb. It has one season. This is about three teenage girls that were unlikely to be friends, but were brought together by shoplifting. Taking from different backgrounds and with different reasons. Feels good to put our truths into the universe. Why does coming here make me want to steal more than ever? It is exciting to watch how this unconventional friendship continued to grow. Next up, we have I Am Not Okay With This with 7.6 rating and one season. It was only released this year, 2020. Teenage years, as we may know, is already difficult as it is, more so if you are dealing with your newfound supernatural powers. Breathe. It is a comedy drama that ended with a cliffhanger that left everyone eager for the next season. Another series from the US is On My Block. It has three seasons and 8.1 rating. It is set in a predominantly Hispanic and black neighborhood. Hey, yo, where's the bun? Why don't call back? I don't send pics of my chonies to no phonies. It follows a solid group of young friends who go through real life problems and dangerous situations with gangs. We need like our own routine, like a sick one that only we know when we bust out at like at lunch or before school or the parties we're gonna go to. Yo, Chaka, can you do this? Can you do that? Next up, we have Dear White People. It is rated 6.3 with three seasons. It is about students of color. The storytelling is brilliant. It was light and heavy at the same time. Dear White People, wow. Y'all really trying it? I get that being reduced to a race-based generalization is a new and devastating experience for some of you, but here's the difference. My jokes don't incarcerate your youth at alarming rates or make it unsafe for you to walk around your own neighborhoods, but yours do. When you mock or belittle us, you enforce an existing system. It managed to keep the show entertaining as the characters face cultural bias, misguided activism, politics, pressure from the parents, and social injustice. This next one spoke to me personally because I was part of the student council in uni. It currently has one season, the next one is about to come out, and it's rated 7.5, The Politician. It's all gone to hell. Finally. Your life going off the rails is the best thing that could happen to you. Life isn't a train. It's a shit tornado full of gold. You don't have to have a plan. You have to try to stay clean and grab every gold bar you can. This emptiness is a gift. We finally know what it's like to lose. It gives a soapy vibe with colorful sets, vibrant, out there personalities. It tackles ambition, politics, scams, strategies, homosexuality, suicide, friendship, and family dynamics. The main character aspires to be the future president of the United States, and it shows you what he's willing to do to make it happen. 
I still have four billion teenage series. Unfortunately, they're not on Netflix, but I'm still gonna share it with you guys. Maybe you can download them somewhere. First one is Chewing Gum. It was on Netflix before, but I guess the franchise ended. It has four seasons and it's rated 7.7. .7. I love it. It's like Beyonce. Is it? <gasps> what, what do I do um, if, if I need to fart? You have lips the size of a boat. Two boats that crashed into each other, killing everyone. It is hilarious. Second is my Mad Fat Diary. It's my perfect pick-me-upper full of romance, body positivity. It has three seasons and it's rated 7.4. You don't think I'm weird though, do you? No. I don't want you to think I'm weird by asking if you think I'm weird. By the way, I'm not paranoid about stuff like that. I'm not some kind of person. Next up, we have Misfits. It has five seasons, rated 8.2 on IMDb. It is about a group of juvenile offenders that were recently given supernatural powers. Chaos. Um, what makes you think that you're better than us? What is that accent? <laughs> is that for real? What, you're trying to say something now then, yeah? It's, uh, are you... That's just a noise. Are we supposed to be able to understand her? His brother ain't got cancer, has he? He might have. He should feel for lumps in his testicles. Then we have Fresh Meat. Another British comedy with four seasons rated 7.9. It is about six freshman students from completely different backgrounds who are living in a shared house off campus. Take it! But only because I was not brought up in squalor, Howard. I just love British comedy. These are my go to recommendations. I'm not what. <laughs> so, my recommendations are mostly European. Alright, that's it for today guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. More guys. Toodles.